Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to Crochet Podcast, episode 141. Thank you so much for inviting me over. If you are new to this channel, my name is Krista and this is my secret yarnery. This channel is all about crochet and crochet related goodness. There is a podcast every Wednesday, a live chat every Friday, and a new tutorial with a written pattern both right and left handed every Sunday. So if any of that is of interest to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Now before we get started, I want to give a big congratulations to the winner from episode 140. Congratulations to Valerie Howden. Congratulations, Valerie. She answered last week's question of the week. She said, my most painful project was a queen size mosaic square bedspread. It is 13 by 16 squares. I ran out of wool several times, but the worst part was joining the squares together, even with join as you go. I weaved in ends as I went along, which is important with eight rounds per square. It took over two years to complete. However, the most painful memories of making it are forgotten as it is super warm in the winter in addition to being beautiful. We'll love seeing the rainbow and white zebra. Well, thank you so much. That is great. Send me an email, Krista at secretyarnery.com and I will send you a copy of my latest pattern. And if you want to win a free pattern, just keep watching and I'll tell you how to do it. And now it's time for Finished Object. There might be an S on that. There probably should be. Let's call it Finished Objects. And are you ready for it? Okay, you gotta shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. Are your eyes shut? Okay, you don't need sound effects, right? <laughs> Look at that. Do, do, do. Isn't that great? It's so good. So this is my single Zenia or Zinnia crochet flower bouquet. You can take a look. It's so cute. So I just did these on my thin, my thinnest bar, uh, not barbecue skewers, bam, uh, oh, Bamboo knitting needles, the really, really tiny ones. These are like one and a half millimeter or two millimeter knitting needles. I bought all the knitting needles I could. <laughs> they were a dollar a pair. No, they were about 90 cents a pair. So I bought all of them. And I thought they were all gonna be the same size, about four millimeters are great for flowers, but all of these were super thin. But what's good about it, ready? Can you see the jiggle? They all have a little shake, a little natural oops ba. Oops ba? Oops, what do you call it? <laughs> Some vigor. They all have a little bit of shaky, shaky vigor. So I love them so much. So yes, I'm still on a flower kick for sure. This is good. Ziggy could be sitting on here, right? Just hanging out with the Zigster. Hmm? <laughs> no, what was it? It wasn't Ziggy. It was who? Kilroy. Kilroy could be sitting on here. So cute. Anyway, those are my latest flower bouquet, crochet flower bouquet. I'm right into them. So these are just done with a magic ring in the center. There's already written pattern right handed and left handed, but I just do, I start with a magic ring and pull it really, really tight and then sew it in really, really tight. And if you can't do uh, or you're not comfortable doing magic ring, you could also just do like a chain three and then sew it shut with your tail, like leave a longer tail and sew it shut with your tail and that would still work. But these are done with a magic ring, nice and snug, and then just pushed up onto a knitting needle. Cute. So that is my finished objects of the week. I also used some floral foam in a vase to keep them all standing up. I found they all kind of started to just tip together because I use really long uh, knitting needles, the 14 inch ones. So 
uh, the floral foam really help them not just kind of all collapse to one side. So I might be using floral foam more often for my other vases. It's a little even easier than using marbles because you don't have to push around the marbles to get your sticks in. You can just push your flower in exactly where you want it to go. So that is my finished object. Where should we put it? It might have to go with my daisies. Okay, let's, let's pop it with my daisies. So this single Zinnia crochet flower bouquet is super easy to make and it's also a great stash buster. You can just use up all your little tiny scraps of yarn. So they can be any color at all and they could be any stem height. So you could put them in a planter box, in a vase, you could put them absolutely anywhere and they are completely washable. Just pop them off of the barbecue skewer or the knitting needle, throw them in a lingerie bag in your washing machine and they'll come out sparkling clean. So no more worrying about dusty flowers in your home. These are super super removable and super washable. I will put a link to the right and left handed tutorials in the description box down below as well as the cards up above. If I forget to do that just go ahead and search secret yarnery plus pretty much maybe just crochet flower bouquet and all of my crochet flower bouquets which there's a lot will pop up and you can pick whichever one you like the right handed or left handed. And now it's time for upcoming events. It's always nice to know what you're going to be doing in the future, like a little pre-invitation to the party, right? So our upcoming live events, the next one is going to be on Friday. That is a live chat, 5 p.m. in Nairobi. It is a great opportunity to find other crocheters or yarn enthusiasts in your neighborhood. We are from all over the world. There's someone from almost everywhere. So it's a great opportunity for you to connect with someone near you. There is also a family members only live chat coming up on Monday, same time, same place. We will be doing a question and answer for the Frankly Circles crochet along that we are doing with friends, friends with benefits and family members. So that is coming up on Monday if you are a family member. And that brings us to Frankly Circles update. So as I told you, there will be a live chat, a question and answer for family members. That is on Monday for the crochet along of the Frankly Circles. And then after that is finished, there will be a tutorial available for family members, both right and left handed, of how to fill in the edge so your edge of your Frankly Circles blanket is nice and straight. So that is on Monday. Then on Friday, those tutorials become available to friends with benefits and on Monday, they become available to friends, which is why I'm changing the membership perks because how confusing is that, right? What day is it for me? What day is it for you? When do you get it? Why don't I get it that day? It's so confusing. So going forward, we're gonna do CALS for family members and we are going to do free patterns for friends and friends with benefits. So those are some changes coming up and that's why, because it's already confusing, right? Now the full tutorial for Frankly Circles is being filmed, it's being edited. I haven't started writing it yet, but it's a lot easier to write it when you're listening to the instructions other than just coming up with it in your head. It's a lot easier to not make mistakes when you're writing it, although I hope, you know, I still might <laughs> make one, but it's a lot easier to do it that way for me anyway. So the complete tutorial, right and left-handed, plus the written pattern will be coming out complete. So the tutorials are free, the pattern is paid for, and you get early access to it for being a family member now right? So that's the gist of it. It's coming out. Don't panic. It will be for everyone. You don't even have to be a subscriber. Although I really do think you should subscribe. And a thumbs up. That always helps. Thumbs up help. I mean, while I'm doing it, like, subscribe, and share, right? <laughs> so that is something that's coming up. So the full tutorial, start to finish, everything included, and the written pattern will be coming out September 3rd. So put it on your calendar, write it down, it's gonna be ready for then. So enjoy your summer, get all your supplies collected, and we'll be starting it September 3rd. Now me being me, and if you know me, or you've known me for a while now, you'll know I might be a little bit excessive. So, I'm doing the Frankly Circles, I'm joining it together, I'm working on it, and I'm like, it's not gonna be big enough. It's not, it's gonna be a blanket, it's not gonna be a big enough blanket. I've spent all this time, all this effort, making this fantastic piece of art, and it's gonna be, like if you put it up, your feet are gonna stick out, do you know what I mean? It's gonna be like, 
this much too small. So I do a whole graph. Where's my graph? Let me show you my graph. And graph is with quotation marks. All right. But I'll show you what I had done. So I did, well, I used it for scrap after that, but I, but I did circles all the way around and filled them in. And then I counted how many I would need, how many big circles I would need to make it two rows bigger or longer, just one direction I wanted it longer. So I needed to make an extra 15 circles to join it together. So I got my yarn out, started all my circles, started 16 of them actually. All these circles there. All my yarn here. Came home, because of course I took that out and about, went pickleballing with that. Came home, laid my blanket out, put my circles there, and I was like, what? I'm like, what's this stack of circles here? What's that stack of circles there? I already made enough. I already made enough circles. <laughs> and they're finished, the tails are sewn in and everything. And I'm like, wow, like I made the exact right number, like two and a half years ago. So I didn't have to make any more. So I have extra frankly circles now. So I don't know what I'm, maybe I'll join those in a different way or make a pillow cover or something. Maybe they'll just sit for a while. We all know I could, I could do that. I can nail that one. So that was interesting. So once I found my circles, I knew I could join the strip I saved for filming with the main blanket I made a couple years ago. So I was ready to put the filming piece, attach it to the main piece. So I guess let's crochet with me. Now some of those circles, the small circles, I had to join on all four sides, which was a little bit stressful because even to do the last slip stitch, you can't like put, you have to like, well, I hope you don't have to do that. I hope you just follow my instructions in the tutorial and just work it row by row so you don't have to go in and join anything on all four sides. But I am so happy that it is completely joined together and it is the perfect size. It's great. I love it. Would you like to win a free pattern? All you have to do is go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more fun stuff just like this. Yes, you have to be a subscriber of the channel and you also have to answer question of the week. Question of the week is, 
What is the first thing you wanted to crochet when you began crocheting? What was your first dream project? You know, you start crocheting, you learn some stitches, and then you're like, you know what? I'm gonna make a lace bedspread. You come up with like all these, all these grand ideas or like a super complicated amigurumi. What was the thing you wanted to crochet? Some big project, not even big, but a complicated project or the first project you wanted to crochet when you learned? For me, it was a polka dot blanket. You can probably tell I have polka dot blankets usually somewhere around me at all times. Love a polka dot blanket. Now mine is due for a wash, I'm just saying. Let me hop up for it. Boop. Definitely due for a wash. So this is my polka dot blanket. Isn't it fab? I love the colors, I love the border, I love all of it. This is what I wanted to make. It took me, this is my second one actually, but it took me three weeks to make it start to finish. It took me about three weeks to make and it was my first join as you go. I was too scared to do continuous join as you go, but I did tackle join as you go and I loved it. I felt so liberated and so happy that I could do it. So that was a really great experience for me. And then I think it was a year later, one of my friends wanted one, so I crocheted two more. That's what I made that one and a matching one. So I gifted the second one because I knew if I made just one, I wouldn't want to give that one away. You know what I mean? You're like, it's so much better than my other one and I could just have two. So I made two more. So I've made three all together and I've made another one here on this side. And this one here, which is gorgeous, I love it. This is my updated version. And I, it's, it's even easier. It's like one row kind of less to fluff with. So the updated version for both, for any of my polka dots, would be the p written pattern on my website, which goes along with a tutorial that I have not finished editing yet, but I, it will be coming out definitely for the fall this year, and I love it. That's my favorite, and you can also wear that one as a wrap, but we can talk about that another time, but it is fantastic. So let me know the first thing you wanted to crochet when you began in the comments under this video. And I will be picking a subscriber that answers the question to win a free pattern in an upcoming podcast. And now, news of the week. News of the week, my tutorials are now available in a whole bunch of different languages. Some of them have different audio, so if you are more comfortable listening in a different language, they are available. Some of them are. I'm going to make a playlist. I haven't done it yet. I'm going to make a playlist of ones that are available in other languages, but all of my tutorials, I think all of them are available with subtitles in different languages. So you can definitely read along in whatever language you prefer. And if there is a tutorial that you would like to hear, like listen to a voice in your language, also let me know in the comments under the video. Kids are off from school on Friday and Monday, so we did a lot of pickleballing. Can't say I'm getting much better at it, but I did do two backhands that did, two of them stayed in the court, which is remarkable out of the 200 backhands I tried. The rest of them, I kind of think of it as a two-step process where once you kind of lunge and swing and the second you crouch and run to catch the ball. So it's kind of like a little more fitness. You know, some people just hit the ball and that's a calorie. I like to really work out. So you definitely get like maybe five calories just by chasing that ball. Like you don't have to hit it every time, right? <laughs> so that's me and backhanding or just hitting it front hand. Be serious. I'm not gifted sports wise. Hmm? I can pick colors. I can't really hit a ball. I can talk like I can hit a ball though. I have, I have great talk. <laughs> Action, not so much. Or what is it, hand-eye coordination? Yeah, I got the short stick on that. But it's still really fun to do and I'm really enjoying it. The kids are doing great and it is really a fun thing to do together. If you'd like to see more of that, there is a premiere coming out of Pickleballing on the weekend with the kids and the fam. So that is coming out over on TSY After Party. That is my other channel where I take you out and about a little more behind the scenes in Nairobi and fun stuff like that. So that will be Friday after the live chat. So that will be 6.30 p.m. in Nairobi. And if you would like to know what time that is where you are, all you have to do is just Google 6 p.m. Nairobi and enter. 6 p.m. Nairobi, enter. And 
Google will tell you what time that is for you locally. How cool is that, right? Or you can also ask Alexa. Alexa, what time is 6.30 p.m. in Nairobi in California? From travelnook.com, that will end up being between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. in California. Yes! I think that's right. I'm like, Alexa got it wrong. No, Alexa got it right. So you can ask Alexa, you can ask Google, and it'll tell you. Hmm? That's pretty cool, right? So go ahead, get that sorted out, put it in your calendar. Can't wait for you to join us. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there, and stay hooked.